Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm out here in my garden today and I'm pulling some weeds and I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and show you guys what's growing, um, how I kind of laid out my raised beds. This is very much a um, trial and error garden for me. This is my first year to ever plant a garden and I have planted right now a four by four raised bed as well as a four by eight. It's kind of windy today, so hopefully the audio on this isn't terrible, but I have a four by four raised bed that's planted right behind me. And then I also have a four by eight raised bed that's planted right here. And I have another raised bed that's in front of me that I haven't really planted out yet. I'm actually going to be starting some more seeds for that bed this week. I ended up losing um, my squash seedlings and my peppers. I'm just not having any luck getting my peppers to sprout. So um, if you have any tips or tricks for getting pepper seedlings started, leave those down in the comments for me. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I do have planted. Okay, so this is my little four by four raised bed. And um, you can see that I have potatoes planted right here in the front. That empty spot right there is actually where I have already pulled one of my potato plants. Uh, it had already started to die back and I couldn't wait any longer. I had to pull it to see if I actually grew potatoes and I did, I grew some potatoes. So I was like, pretty excited, but I'm letting the rest of these sit for another week or so. Um, just trying to let the potatoes finish growing because a few of them were still fairly small. So I'm hoping we can get some more size. And what's cool is the one that I pulled the other day was actually from a grocery store potato that I had bought and it had sprouted and I planted it. And uh, yeah, I got like a pound of potatoes off of it the other day. So that was pretty cool. Next to the potatoes under here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have some purple green beans planted in here. And this was kind of, you know, a mistake on my part. Oh, look at that zucchini. Look at it you back there. But on the purple potatoes, that was kind of a mistake on my, I mean the purple, um, on the purple beans, that was kind of a mistake on my part. I didn't realize just how big the zucchini plants that I planted right next to it got. Um, like I said, first year growing a garden. So even things like plant size are kind of foreign to me. So I wasn't aware that these um, zucchini plants would get quite so huge and kind of overshadow the green beans or purple beans under there, but they're still growing and putting a few out. We've actually already picked um, a few handfuls of those that I've pickled. Going up the back here, we have this little trellis and I have some asparagus beans growing on here. So just in this little four by four bed, I have um, eight potato plants, four zucchini plants, and uh, 10 bean plants. So I have five of the purple beans and then five of the asparagus bean plants. And so far everything is growing and I think that we will be able to get some stuff off of these. So um, like I said, the the purple beans. I just wasn't expecting these zucchini plants to get so big, but we actually picked our first zucchini last night and I'm gonna be putting it in some spaghetti tonight. My kids like it that way. Now this right here is my four by eight bed. And as you can see, everything at the back of this is growing really well. Um, I have a watermelon vine going right here for some little, um, for some little personal watermelons. You can see that those are kind of starting to grow. And these are actually also watermelon plants that haven't really taken off yet, but this one is doing really well. Um, I have some bean plants over there in the middle. I believe these are also a type of bean plant. This little plant right here is called like a gold rush green bean. They were kind of like a real light color, um, almost, yellow bean but I have this one here and then I have two next to it these two aren't doing so hot um or this one isn't and this one is just I'm not sure what it's doing um this may be another one actually I have cucumbers planted and um these are like a smaller cucumber plant like a little pickling cucumber you can see that they are also starting to grow in there and then these right here <laughs> on this trellis, these things are out of control. <laughs> they are grabbing onto everything. I wasn't expecting that either. So, I mean, some of these, these things, they're just huge and grab it. The little tendrils are coming out and grab it onto everything. And um, I planted them next to my tomatoes and I'm just trying to keep them from like choking my tomatoes out. So. Um, next time I'll definitely give these guys a little more space. I'm trying to train them to grow up this 
trellis thing here in the back and they're doing pretty good at it but i planted two rows and the inside row of them um can't really reach the trellis so you know you gotta learn as you go sometimes this was left over from whenever we built our goat's pen so we just have it kind of wrapped around. We're actually going to take this out because I was planning on using it for my tomatoes. But instead, I bought some steaks yesterday and I'm just trying to stake them up. So back in here, I have, I think I counted last night, like there's eight tomato plants. They're all doing pretty good. Um, this little guy down here may be a little shaded out. And there is a pepper plant stuff down in there one of the very few pepper plants that i was able to get to sprout and then also a couple random okras in here and i actually have that one who looks like it's ready to be picked tomato plants you can see little baby tomatoes starting to come out on there 100 percent certain but i think these are like the little golden pear tomatoes that i planted we wanted to plant some things that are fun and exciting that way my boys would be excited about the garden thing and maybe it would convince them to eat some vegetables that they don't typically eat so we have like the i have a yellow cucumber i have the golden i think they were like a golden pear tomato and then the purple green beans and then also the asparagus green beans are supposed to get really long so i think they'll think those are pretty fun too like on the two okra plants that are just kind of random in there i had my seeds that i had started outside one evening because i don't have room inside to set up a place for seed starting and it stays pretty warm here year round anyways i ended up getting blown off and all my seedlings got mixed up i wasn't really sure what i had where so whenever it got time to plant them i was like i'll just throw them in there see what happens I feel like this video is basically just a big um, video of me telling you everything that I did wrong as a first time gardener, but that's okay because I'm sure I'm not alone and that somebody else out there can sympathize with me. So I'll just continue to uh, share my failures with you guys and hopefully one day they'll turn into successes. So this is that third bed I was talking about that I do still have to plant. Um, I have a pepper plant in here that I picked up from a local nursery and then that those are some squash plants that i th threw in here i'm not sure looks like one of them might do okay the other two are still kind of struggling and then some flowers that i killed <laughs> are also in here but before i planted this bed i was really wanting to wait and see um due to the little seed mix up i was wanting to see exactly what i did have planted in that second bed before i got ready to plant this bed um so now that I know that I don't have any peppers or really any squash or anything, I'm going to go ahead and put those in this bed and use this space primarily for those types of things. Little strawberry plant in this pot that I bought last year and I thought it had died over winter, but I had put like some straw around it. Um, just kind of guessing. I saw some people talk about overwinterizing them and I guess it worked because they're coming back. So that was a happy surprise. Okay, I had to move into the shade. It is so stinking hot already. And I also picked like the worst time of the day to come out and do this. So y'all just ignore my sweaty face. But I just wanted to tell y'all, thank you for watching. And also if you haven't followed me over on Instagram yet, you can find me at Humbly Rooted Home. And I'll put a link for that down in the description box. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to do so. So again, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.